Hey, good, good morning to all the followers. God's blessings to you all. Uh, just coming to you for um, an on-time message this morning. Um, the song that's playing right now is by Zanti. Uh, it's called God Taught Me. Um, but uh, this morning on the prayer line, it was it was so on time, y'all. Uh, you know, shout out to my brother Eddie, to uh, my sisters uh, in Christ, uh, Tasha, Bran, Melody, uh, Melissa, um, to my mothers in Christ, my spiritual mothers, uh, Mother Carol, uh, Lady Cat, uh, Verda, uh, even uh, my other sisters in Christ, uh, Tootie. Ida, uh, Brittany, who man, it's a lot of them. it's a lot of sisters. <laughs> uh, Michelle, uh, thank y'all for for joining in on on the prayer line and praying with uh, me. You know, y'all didn't have to get in on there, but I know it's nothing but God. The reason that y'all are on there, so I definitely want to give a shout out to y'all because y'all are sharpening me uh, as I'm uh, sharpening y'all. You know, iron sharpens iron, steel sharpens steel. But uh, I had to definitely come on this video today, you know, shout out to YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, all of y'all, whatever it is. You know, if you like the content of the video, please uh, share this with someone else because we need to uh, teach each other this. Uh, first of all, I just want to say giving all gl glory and honor and praise to God because without him, none of this would be possible. Without him waking me up this morning, you know, I wouldn't be able to give y'all this message. So definitely want to give our praise and honor and glory to him first man i want to tell y'all something you want to die to this world you want to die to this world in your in in your spiritual realm you want to die to it because the ways of this world that's teaching us it's it's not good for us you know and if we keep on walking in this in this uh in the ways of the world Destruction is going to happen. But we must bring heaven to earth. How do we do that? We do that by diving into the word. By listening to our father. Listening to our mothers. Not, and I'm not just talking about the fleshly mothers and fathers. Because we're supposed to listen to them. And we're supposed to learn from them. But we have to learn the word. The word of God. And what God tells us to do. We have to go in that path. We have to model ourselves like Christ. We have to love like him. We have to honor like him. We have to teach like him. And we have to preach like him. Because when Christ came, Christ didn't come to change any of the laws. He fulfilled them because we couldn't do it. Christ is God in the flesh. And that's why it had to be fulfilled. But there was another covenant that was established before Christ left this earth, which was love. To love our mothers, our fathers, to love our brothers, our sisters, to love our family, to love our neighbors, to love one another, to even love your enemies. Did you know that? To even love your enemies, those who pray against you who prey on your downfall, we still supposed to love them too. So I'm telling y'all, man, we have to learn to start praying for those that have wronged us and to love them anyway. Even when they come back and they ask for forgiveness, we must forgive. Not for, for them, but for ourselves. Because I ain't trying to go to hell. <laughs> I ain't trying to go to hell. And y'all ain't either. Don't nobody want to burn. Don't you know what fire feels like? I know what that mug feel like. I done, you know, been burned quite a few times. Physically and spiritually. But, uh, you know, that's what we have to do for one another, man. We have to teach each other this. We have to learn from each other. We have to love each other. We have to heal one another. We can operate in that same power, y'all. As it says... Uh, in the word in Colossians uh, 2 and 3 and I, I'll read it to you uh, uh, I'll read it to you from the message version because some people don't like to read the uh, the King James or uh, even the Amplified which I mean that's that in itself is amplified it, it speaks to you loudly but everybody learns different 
And so we just have to put it into layman's. We have to put it in a way that everyone can understand it. So I'm going to read from the message. That's what it says um, in the message Bible. And the context reads first. It says, he is your life. So if you're serious about living this new resurrection life with Christ, act like it. What that means is don't just talk about it. Be about it. Walk it. Talk it. Live it. Pursue the things over which Christ presides. Don't shuffle along eyes to the ground. Absorb with the things right in front of you. Acknowledge what you have right now, man. You don't need to have what everybody else has. You just need to have what God has for you and wants to give you. Look up and be alert to what is going on around Christ. That's where the action is. See things from his perspective. Dive into the word and look up and find Christ and watch what he was doing. Follow the leader, our true leader. Your old life is dead. Your new life, which is your real life, even though invisible spectators, even though invisible to spectators is with Christ and God. We all have a new life to live. We all have a new life to live. And that's what God wants for all of us. He still loves us enough to forgive us. To forgive us for what we've done. I hear people say all the time, and even I used to say, man, we don't deserve it. But we do deserve it. We do deserve it. Start telling yourself you do deserve it. You do deserve forgiveness. You do deserve to be healed. You do deserve to be loved. You do deserve it. When Christ, which it says, your real life, remember, when Christ shows up again on this earth, you'll show up too. The real you, the glorious you. Meanwhile, be content with obscurity like Christ. Man, understand, some people is not going to be for you. Christ understood that. Some people not going to support you. And some of those people may be your very well-owned family, your blood-related family. But Christ tells us that we have family outside of the blood-related family. We gain spiritual brothers, spiritual sisters, spiritual mothers, spiritual fathers, spiritual cousins, uncles, aunts. You name it. Grandmothers, grandfathers. You name it. <laughs> you name it. As uh, was that? Uh, Sister Shirley Caesar says, you name it. Uh, and that means killing off everything connected with the ways of death. Which the ways of death is sin, y'all. Sin. Not just some of it, but all of it. Sexual promiscuity, impurity, lust. Doing whatever you feel like whenever you feel like it. And grabbing whatever attracts your fancy. Come on, y'all. Like, if it's, if it's not the way God tells us to do it, then we shouldn't do it. This ain't for play play. This is for real. At this point in time, this is what we should be doing. Stop trying to tickle your fancy all the time. Stop falling into temptation. Don't give in to temptation because even Jesus was tempted when he was on the rock. I mean, when he was on the mountain and, and Satan came up there and he said, you, the son of man, turn this rock into some bread. He knew, he knew Jesus was hungry, man. He knew he was hungry. But Jesus stood in his power instead of the spirit and said, mm -mm, no, man. Psh. Turn a rock into some bread? You got to be kidding me. What you gonna have me chomping my teeth, crunching down on some rocks? You gotta be bent. I'm just I'm just coming from another perspective, just just laughing about it. But uh and it says, that's a life shaped by things and feelings instead of by God. It's because of this kind of thing that God is about to explode in anger. Don't y'all see that God is exploding in anger right now with this whole coronavirus, this whole pestilence, this whole pandemic. Come on, man. Turn away from your wicked ways. Turn away from that. Everybody, we must still pray for the president. We must pray for the vice president. We must pray for Congress. We must still pray for them and love them too because they don't know what they do. They don't know that they're being led 
by these things. These things are spiritual things in wickedness and in darkness. It wasn't long ago that you were doing all that stuff too and not knowing better, but you know better now. So make sure it's all going for good. Bad temper, irritability, meanness, profanity, dirty talk, like cuss words and, you know, slander and, and all these other things that we're not supposed to be doing. Like, we can't judge nobody because we're not nobody's judge. You understand that, right? You're not nobody's judge. Nobody's going to bow to you and confess to you their sins. The only one that they're going to bow to is the Father in heaven. And every tongue shall confess. The people that died, they sleep right now. Ain't nobody went to heaven. Ain't nobody went to hell. So please, preachers, stop preaching that. Stop telling them them lies. That's why religion has to die. Because it's man-made. Stop preaching lies, man. Teach the truth. Teach the real word. I'm not getting on anybody. I'm just saying we must do this. Because some of us, we've all fell into this. Everybody, we've all fell into this stuff. The ways of the world. And we have to die to that. How do you die to that? You ask for forgiveness. You repent of your sins. And you turn away from your wicked ways. You turn away from the world and operate as Christ operated. And walked in and lived in. Come on, y'all. Spread the message. Let me get back there. Uh, don't lie to one another. You're done with that old life. It's like a filthy set of ill-fitting clothes you stripped off and put in the fire. Now you're dressed in a new wardrobe. Every item of your new way of life is custom made by the creator with his label on it. You don't need to design a clothes. You don't need all those things. You want those things. But God says to give them away. Give them away. Throw all of it away. Turn away from it. And watch what I do for you. Watch what I bring to you. When you turn away from those wicked ways that you used to do, that you were taught, turn away from that and come to me. We still have time, ladies and gentlemen. Every day that you wake up, should be a praise on your lips. Pray in the middle of your storm. And not just praying because things are going wrong, but pray even when things are going right. Pray without season. All the old fashions are now obsolete. Words like Jewish and non-Jewish, religious and irreligious, insider and outsider, uncivilized and uncouth, slave and free mean nothing. From now on, everyone is defined by Christ. Everyone is included in Christ. We all must do this. We all have to do this. Include yourself, man. Let the stuff go. What does it profit a man or woman to gain the world and lose their soul? It don't profit you nothing. Even the people that y'all say gave up their souls or they sold their soul to the devil. You can't sell nothing that you're still walking in. You can still repent. The enemy has no power. Don't let them deceive you. You can still be forgiven while you're here, but once you fall asleep, once you die, once you're asleep, it's, it's too late. When you come back, when, when, when Jesus, when God comes back, now, that's the time where every knee is bowed and every tongue is going to confess. But right now, he says, bring heaven to earth. Confess your sins one to another. Confess your sins to me. Come to me and I will give you rest. And then he tosses it away like that. And he doesn't remember because now he's looking at the heart. Everything that comes in you and then comes back out of you comes from your heart. So he looks at the new creation, his new creation, not the old you, because we could bring ourselves down. We could bring our, we could tear ourselves up. We are our worst critic. But God knows the true you, the inner you, the soul that lives inside of you. It comes from your heart. So chosen by God, for this new life of love, dress in the wardrobe God picked out for you. Compassion, kindness, humility, quiet, strength, discipline. Be even-tempered. What that means is don't get upset. Don't get angry. Be angry, but sin not. 
No more cussing, no more slandering. You can't tell someone to stop cussing and stop gossiping and everything if you still doing it. He without sin cast the first stone. And all of us are in sin, so we can't throw no stones. We can't judge nobody. But what we can do is bring correction in love and in honor and respect and unconditionally. We must forgive one another. First, forgive yourself because you too were in sin. And we must walk in this and talk this and live it. Don't follow nobody that's not living that because that will lead you down a path of destruction. Forgive as quickly and completely as the master forgave you. Forgive as God forgives us. Man, my hair is growing like crazy. It's all in my mouth. <laughs> uh, forgive as quickly and completely as the master forgave you. And regardless of what else you put on, wear love. It's your basic all-purpose garment. Never be without it. The armor of God. That is what it's talking about. The armor of God. Walk in that. Live that. Speak that. Sleep that. When you fall asleep, fall asleep to the word. Don't fall asleep to the, the secular music and things like that. Because then you, it'll come to you in your dreams. The enemy will tempt you any way he can. Any way. He will try to get in. But you walk in that power. You walk in that spirit. You can defend yourself again. When you speak the word of God, your swords, your guns, all of those things, the enemy got to go. Resist the devil and he will flee. Because the enemy has no power. You know why? And it tells you in the word. The enemy has to go to God to ask for permission to tempt you. To tempt you. He has to ask for permission. We have to ask for permission too when we go somewhere. We have to ask permission from God. We have to do that. We have to do just the same. No. Oh, yes. Those are my old ones. Yes. Uh, let the peace of Christ keep you in tune with each other. In step with each other. Iron sharpens iron. Steel sharpens steel. Be in tune with one another. Like on, uh, what is that movie? Drumline. One band. One sound. <laughs> Operate in that. You know? In the love of Christ. Uh, none of this is going off and doing your own thing. And cultivate thankfulness. Let the word of Christ, the message, have the run of the house. Give it plenty of room in your lives. Instruct and direct one another using good common sense. And sing. Sing your hearts out to God. Let every detail in your lives, words, actions, whatever, be done in the name of the Master, Jesus, thanking God for the Father, God the Father, every step of the way. Every step of the way, we must thank the Father. Don't glorify man. Don't give praise to man. Give praise to the Father. Because he created us. He spoke us into existence. We are the word, ladies and gentlemen, that he spoke. We are that. Live that. Live the word. In the positive way, not in the negative any longer. Again, I say there's a reason we in the house right now. There's a reason this quarantine is going on. But also, we can still go out and pray to our family, our friends, and even our enemies. You can be six feet apart of the way the world wants you to do it. You can do that. But even Jesus did that. He walked. He walked to his destination. And he prayed over the people. And he told them, even you can do this too. How long must I be with you before you get what I'm saying? Before you get that I'm telling you, even you can operate as the Father does. Even you can perform miracles. You must first believe it. And when you believe it, you got to then achieve it. You got to live it. You got to walk it. You got to talk it. As that song say, walk it like I talk it. I don't know the whole words. I just know the <laughs> chorus. But I'm just saying. Um, wives, understand, support your husbands by submitting to them in ways that honor the master. 
Husbands, go all out in love for your wives. Don't take advantage of them. Woo, man. I can't wait. I can't wait because the woman I get mad to tell you, I'm going through a divorce right now. Hey, and that's cool. I, I still love her. I still respect her. I still honor her. But if somebody don't want to be with me, I'm so fine. You ain't the one for me. God knows what's for me. And I'm not going to condemn you. I'm not going to talk down on you. I'm going to still love you. I'm going to still pray for you. I'm going to pray for your next relationship. That it be from God. And that it be the man of God that wants to love you and protect you and honor you and serve you. And you do the same for him. Because each one teach one, each one reach one. Matter of fact, I'll even marry you as a minister. But that's what we got to do, men. Let's step up, husbands, and treat our women right. And give them what they need, which is love, honor, respect, obedience. Not obedience like they, they dominate over you, but obedience to the Father and what the Word says and what He told us to do. Y'all understand that, men, we are pretty much the ones that created this. The way the, of the women's minds, the way they operate, because we left them. We started gang banging. We started going to sleeping with other women. We started killing each other. And the women were like, well, if the men can do it, we can do it too. We can just do it better. Look at the world now. The women is doing it. And there's brothers out here trying to become women. There's women out here trying to become men, trying to become something that you're not because that's temptation. But you'll always be stressed out and always be confused because you can't reproduce. That, that stuff that they got going on, you can't reproduce in that. That ain't, God ain't in that. We must operate as the Father told us to operate. Children, do what your parents tell you. This delights the master. No end. We are the children too. Just because you grown don't mean that you're still not a child. We're a child of God. A man, a woman of God, we're still his children. So we must listen to our Father who art in heaven. Hallow be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debt to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For you are the kingdom. You are the power. And you are the glory forever and ever. Amen. That in itself tells you exactly how we're supposed to pray. And how we're supposed to love one another. How we're supposed to forgive one another. How we're supposed to bring heaven to earth. Servants, do what you're told by your earthly master. Yeah, we got to listen to the government. We do. We got to, because, I mean, it's the way of the world. But we still must dive into this word and do what the Father tells us to do. There is no confusion in that. And don't just do the minimum that will get you by. Do your best. Work from the heart for your real master, for God. Confident that you'll get paid in full when you come into your inheritance. Keep in mind always that the ultimate master, your servant, is Christ. The sullen servant who does shoddy work, nasty work, don't want to do the real work, will be held responsible. Being a follower of Jesus doesn't cover up bad work. So when you're at work, still, still. Do it to the best of your ability. Don't half step. Be good and be good at it. Be, do what you do best. Put your best foot forward. Do it in the best way possible. Without complaining. Without getting upset. Without showing somebody that you frustrated. Don't give it to them. Don't give in to that. Don't give in. Operate as Christ operate, y'all. That's what we got to do for one another. Because that's what God wants us to do. That's what the Father wants us to do. He wants to, us to learn from our mistakes, which are our choices. 
Never show anybody that they got the best of you. Never let the enemy know. Never. Because when you get angry, you get frustrated, you're letting them know, man, you just took the power. <laughs> and he ain't took nothing. It's deceitful. Teach your kids. And I'm telling you, parents, and then I'm going to be done. I'm going to come to a close. Uh, as parents, stop putting your hands on your kids. Stop putting a belt on them. Bring correction to them. You don't need to whoop them because we're teaching our kids that it's okay. That when you get frustrated, you get angry, that it's okay to put our hands on them. Hit them with something. And then they grow up and that little boy inside of them comes out. Or that little girl inside them comes out and they want to put their hands on somebody just from what they said because that's temptation. Because it's something that they've learned. Religion. Something that they've learned that has been taught. Stop whooping your kids. Whoop them with the word. Bring correction. There's other ways that you ain't got to put hands on your kids. Take stuff from them. Take everything from them. Teach them. Make it like jail where they take everything from you and they lock you up. And you find God up in there. You find some form of religion. For real. You know? Get your workouts on. Pump your chest up. Get your legs right. You know, like Kevin Hart said, didn't work on his legs much. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, like for real, we got to bring that in. No more whooping your children. No more getting on to your children on social media, you know, Ah, la, 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 yelling at them and screaming at them because that just it does something to them as they get older they respond different they can't take it and they act out as we acted out so bring correction to your household bring love into your household bring it in here first in your temple because the body is going to go back where it came from, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. But your spirit, the temple, watch what comes inside of there. Watch what you bring out of there too. Because things can get into all the loopholes in your body. Not just your eyes and your ears and your mouth. I mean, it can get in through your nose. It can get in through your pores, all the holes in your body. Just like things can get in dirt, you know. When it rains, it goes inside the dirt. It ain't that, it's not a definite foundation. Because if something can get through it, it can get through to you too. Because we're created from dirt. Go wash yourself up in the shower and then get out and just rub yourself and see if you don't still see some dirt. I mean, with a white towel. And you're going to know that you're from dirt. From clay of the earth. And anything can get inside. But what are you letting come inside? What are you letting come inside of you so that it comes back out of you? What are we teaching our children? We must teach them the new way of life, the good way of living, the heavenly way. Amen. I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge. <laughs>